Hello everyone. We will discuss today about sign conventions of work and then about energy and its form. First of all, I will tell you that when we say work done is positive and work when work done is negative. What are those criteria? In our formula, W is equal to force into displacement. We take force and displacement in same direction. It means when we apply force on an object it will move to second position it means it travel displacement s then the work done will positive but when force is applied in this direction but object moves to opposite direction it means this force is doing negative work so here work done by this force f is negative or say displacement due to this force is minus s so work done is f cross s with negative sign let's took an example on this concept suppose an object is placed here and a boy pulling from this side with a force equals to 10 newton and another boy pushing it with force F2 is equal to 5 Newton. Then, obviously, body moves in this direction. Let's suppose it moves to 3 meter. Then, the displacement is in the direction of force F1 but in opposite direction to F2 so work done by first Y or say W1 is equal to ten into three meter it means 30 joule but w2 is equal to 5 cross minus 3 because displacement is negative here so it will minus 15 joule Now taking second example, let's say it is surface of earth and one object is placed here, a man pull it up to 5 meter and its weight is let's say 10 kg. 
then force applied by gravitation is 10 g or say 100 newton and body moves to moves in opposite direction by 5 meter so work done by gravitation or say gravity equals to 100 into minus 5 meter so it will minus 500 joule but the man who lifted it up to 5 meter he is doing work in body moves in same direction so he has done positive work with same quantity 500 joule now coming to the concept of energy what is energy in daily life we used to say he have much energy very much energy what is that it means he have much capacity to do so many work or say he has capacity to do much work in scientific term the energy possessed by an object is measured in term of energy it means a object will do same amount of work as that same amount of energy he possessed or say if he have energy of one unit then he will do same amount of work so we will define it with same unit which work have so unit of energy is joule when we think about energy we think where it come from or say what are the sources of energy so some of them are main uh, main source of energy are first is sun it is ultimate source of energy wind wind power is also a source of energy sea tides also a source of energy nuclei of atom also a source of energy and interior part of earth also possess energy which we converted into our useful type of energy when we analyze energy with amount it means if we say that object have 1 kilojoule of energy it means it will uh, do work with 1 kilojoule or 1000 joule 
energy have many form so we can list it as forms of energy first is heat energy from sun we bit get heat energy light energy we also have sound energy we have mechanical energy further we divide it into kinetic energy plus potential energy there are also so many type of energy we will discuss in this class for class 9 syllabus we only focused on mechanical energy and another chapter we will discuss about sound energy so in next chapter next class we will discuss about kinetic energy so that's all in this class thank you